Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about constants of nature and today I am talking about the fine structure constant. Why considering constants of nature at all? Because I guess this is the royal road to fundamental physics. Now what's interesting with the fine structure constant adds a number, just a number, no units and that's very intriguing. I usually refer to 137 as the inverse of the fine structure constant and of course people are thinking, I mean, how did this number came about and there are some interesting ideas uh, I almost every week get a, an email explaining the fine structure constant not all of them are interesting I think the most intriguing idea has been put forward by George Gamow he suspected that it was related to the log of Dirac's large numbers but this is also still speculation and I mean what's interesting is that at the very beginning of the universe this number 137 would have been just one eh? and that's from a philosophical point of view kind of satisfying but as I said there is no theory be behind if you want to explain it uh, my recommendation is send the theory along just to mention there are several points of view how you can look at the fine structure constant you say you can say it's just the strength of the electric interaction but more precisely it's the relation of the electric interaction to the quantum interaction symbolized by hc e squared uh, over epsilon naught the dielectricity would be the strength of the electrical interaction so by the way if uh, quantum electrodynamics would be a really good theory it would explain that number it does not so if you want to know my opinion about quantum electrodynamics check out this video i don't think it's very fundamental the relation to all this stuff of the magnetic uh, moment of the electron but nonetheless 137 remains a very intriguing number and uh, originally it was dubbed a uh, fine structure constant i think that it was sommerfeld because you see it in the fine structure of the hydrogen lines and another way nice way to look at it is if you um, consider velocities in nature one important velocity is of course the speed of light and if you take the relation of the other important velocity which is the velocity of the orbiting electron in the simplest atom the hydrogen atom it's just one 37 speed of light divided by this velocity of the inner orbit in the in the hydrogen atom and this also bears an interesting philosoph philosophical consequence if you want because it's a limit to the size of atoms because if you have uh, a nucleus with more than 137 protons the velocity of the inner electron would exceed the speed of light which is of course not possible though this is something that uh, has to do with how nature is built and certainly 137 or the fine structure constants remains one of the most intriguing uh, constants of nature if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental questions subscribe to this channel